you are very good on 200 percent here i hope all of you are doing well good morning to all Ravnan, sir. Good afternoon. Okay. So we discussed about the concept called as uh, the minimum spanning tree, okay, and uh, followed by the various applications of graph. Okay. So now uh, before going to uh, today's topic, okay, I revise the thing again. Uh, so for your understanding purpose, okay. So last class we discussed about the concept called as minimum spanning tree. Okay. So from the name itself, we know that uh, what's the concept we are going to solve that one so that is called as minimum spanning tree the meaning for minimum is nothing but low or very less okay spanning is nothing but movement okay movement of user from one place to another place okay the next one is tree is nothing but a tree okay so simply the minimum spanning tree provides the solution for the user in the format of converting a given graph to the tree like structure the tree is called as minimum spanning tree okay so the minimum spanning tree provides a lot of advantages to the user okay it mainly supports to give the reduction in the cost of travel from one node to the other node okay and visiting of all other nodes in the particular graph okay. then followed by we saw some of the routines which is mainly supports for the concept of solving or finding the effective minimum spanning tree concepts. Okay, so uh, what is the routine of solving the simply the minimum spanning tree is nothing but okay. First, you have to select any kind of node in your minimum spanning tree which connects the least edge value with another node in the given graph. Okay, so whenever you find a particular node which connects to the another node, which is having the least edge value, you have to take the particular structure of the two nodes and you have to remove the two nodes from the graph and you place it in the outside of the graph. Okay. So followed by, you have to check for the another least value edge which connects the two vertices in the particular graph. Okay. Then you have to take you got to remove the particular edge value from the graph and you got to join with the already available taken topology of the graph okay so you got to do the operation continuously okay the condition is if you are combining the one node with already available nodes if it forms any circle means okay if it forms any circle means you got to stop your process and you have to go for the next least edge value in the given graph Okay, so whenever you are combining the edge value, least edge values or selecting the least edge values, if you are getting any cyclic order graphs or it forms any cyclic manner of structure, you will stop that thing, then you will check for the new thing that is to be the least value edges of the given graph. Okay, so likewise, it is going on in the particular way of order. So you got to stop the process until whether all the nodes are linked together with the help of edges. Okay. And it does not contain any structure of cyclic order in a graph. Okay. So the final result of the uh, solved graph, you will get a concept called as a minimum spanning tree. Okay. So after you find out the minimum spanning tree, you have to add the edge values of a given tree and that will provide the minimum spanning cost of a particular graph. Okay. So that is the thing we discussed in the last class. Okay. And also we talked about some various applications of minimum spanning tree, which is mainly uh, involved in the process of something called as a, uh, it is mainly used uh, in the process of a thing like uh, the Biological structure concepts like the molecular uh, formations like that, the molecule formations of human genomes like that. Then far away we are having some other examples like uh, the arrangement of the some nucleic acids like that, okay, in the chemical composition of the human body like that, okay. 
then it is used in the mainly concept of database management systems then followed by it mainly supports for the transmission of various solutions okay like that okay so these are some of the thing uh, we discussed in the last class okay so in this class we are going to see about the two algorithms okay which mainly supports for solving the graph okay so this two algorithm provides a solution the same solution like the minimum spanning tree but their order of solving the problem is different okay so i hope all of you understood so what are we talk, talking now can we go for the new topic okay sir so whether my screen is visible to all whether the screen is visible to all of you so whether my screen is visible to all yes sir yes okay so now i i shown one uh, problem here or you may take it as a story okay so all of you read the story people do not Yes, sir. Wait. Now, yes, what sir. What is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay, ma'am. So, uh, all of you see the picture. Okay, all of you see the uh, picture here. Uh, and the story which is given for your understanding purpose. Okay. So, all of you go through the story. and you got to observe what is the thing they are given okay so all of you go through the story my hope all of you getting so what is problem here or what they want to tell to you Okay, all of you got me. So, what is the idea behind this? So, all of you understood the story. What Dre talks about? All of you understood? Okay. So. i will tell once again okay so what is the story here okay so listen and there is a one person called as kapi okay so he want to conquer the universe okay it means he want to conquer the world okay so uh, it is his childhood dream okay and finally it is happen in a reality okay so he uh, want to control each and every planet under his control okay so so he got that thing so to celebrate this Occasion, okay, to celebrate this glorious occasion, so the Kapi plans to visit each and every planet in the universe, okay, and he want to take selfies, selfies, uh, uh, along with the planet, and he want to post in a social media like that, okay. So for that, he wants to frame his universe in the format of graph-like structure, and he framed the name of the countries or location of the countries as nodes. and the distance between the country has taken he taken it as edges okay 
so now his universe becomes in the, the structure it is the format of graphs okay so finally he want to visit all the cities in the in his universe and he want to take selfies of all his cities in the universe so he is moving to move from one city to another city in a continuous manner okay so it is the statement given here okay so listen so based on the story okay based on the story uh, we observe that he want to move from one place to another place okay like that so listen so before going to see our problem okay so now we are going to see another problem called as uh, okay uh, first one is a prim algorithm okay we are going to see one of the problem our statement to solve this problem is nothing but prim algorithm okay so see here in the screen so it is the algorithm which we are going to solve the given stories issues okay so see here it is the strategy which is to followed uh, based on the algorithm what we are going to taken okay so see in the uh, the planet which was taken by the kapi is termed as in the structure which is shown in the screen okay so there is a planet called as kapi's planet okay and the far away we are having n number of planets it is named as planet g planet u planet a planet f planet h and planet b and planet l okay so he want to visit all these planets okay and each and every planet is should be visited by the person kapi okay so listen yes i told you earlier it is the strategy which is similar to the cruise call algor uh, which is similar to the binion spanning tree okay which is similar to the binion spanning tree which may supports to find out the least Short spot, shortest path among the given problems. Okay, so that is the main basic strategy which is followed the concept of uh, the uh, algorithm. Okay, so see here, so it is the statement of the prim algorithm. Okay, so listen, and now we are going to see the two algorithms. One is called as prim algorithm, another is called as digitra algorithm. Okay, so one is called as prim algorithm. another one is called as digit cross algorithm okay so both these algorithm are mainly used to find out the shortest path in a given graph okay all of you follow me so now we are going to see two algorithms one is called as prim algorithm what i am showing in the screen okay so next there is an algorithm called as cruise call algorithm okay and followed by we are having another algorithm called as digit cross algorithm okay these are the algorithms we are going to see further okay so now we are going for prim algorithm okay so what is the main principle of this prim algorithm is it is used to find out the shortest path in a graph okay it is to find this find out the shortest path in a graph okay so listen how the algorithm is formed means okay so see the steps here so we are going to select a vertex okay and from the vertex we have to take the connecting tree vertex and the fringe vertex that has a minimum weight okay yes told earlier in the cruise call algorithm here also you have to select the edges which is having the least value which fringes the vertex from one vertex which fringes one vertex to the another vertex okay ma so that is the thing which is to be uh, taken the next one next step is so add the selected edge and the vertex to the minimum spanning tree okay the tree is named as tree t okay so you add the selected edge vertex and to them minimum spanning tree already which is available and it is the continuous loop it is to be repeated so you got to repeat the steps until you got to be installed in nodes okay and you have to exit from the problem okay what is it simply listen so what is the concept of prim algorithm means okay so here 
the spanning tree is grown in two stages okay the spanning tree is grown in two stages okay so listen you have to select a vertex random manner okay you have to select a vertex in a random manner here the vertex is nothing but a node okay you have to select a node in random manner which shows it is the first vertex of the tree ma solradha nalla purinjukenga adhaavadhu or graph kuduthirukanga appadina andha graph la neenga endha node vena first node a eduthukalam adhu da ungalude graph oda starting point nu vechukonu you got to keep the first node as it uh, yes you were starting point of the graph therefore okay a vertex from remaining vertices is so chosen that it has a small x edge to the vertex which represents on the tree inna na neenga select panna vertex tha vande and the graph le vande chinna vertex value varukku chinna edge value varukku okay which forms a first tree structure okay so the particular selected vertex structure is added to a tree okay so this process is to be completed until the end of the loop okay so it is the algorithm algorithmic procedure to solve the problem in a concept of prims algorithm okay ma all of you getting something so what is algorithm which uh, place what is the role of this algorithm where any of you follow yes sir okay so that is the concept of prims algorithm okay it is the one of the concept of minimum spanning tree algorithm which mainly forms the minimum spanning tree okay and from the minimum spanning tree we have to find out the shortest path to transfer the data us from one place to another place or uh, visiting the data us from one place to another place in a shorter stage value of thing okay next one so see here so construct a minimum spanning tree you are getting question like this okay in your semester exam you are going to get a question like this okay so construct a minimum spanning tree for the following graph using prims algorithm okay so listen you have to create yes let us consider the graph is given you see let us consider a graph is given okay so let us consider so it is a graph okay so it is a graph which is given here for this graph we have to construct a minimum spanning tree okay so for solve this prims algorithm the easiest way is what i told earlier okay so you have to take a particular node okay you have to take a particular node in a graph adavad enna na ungal kuduthirukra graph la ninga endha node vena first node a eduthukalam okay la so let us consider this first node b in a graph okay, let us consider the first node b in a graph you got to take the first node b in a graph okay so you got to draw the structure the first value which i am taking is b okay it is my step one okay the first node which i want to visit is b it is my first step for the next step you got to see the outgoing links from the node b okay next you have to check the outgoing links from the node b adavad b il rendu veliye pogakudiya illa b ya connect pannakudiya links edalla nu paakanum okay la so you see the structure here so the here the edge value is 4 and 10 okay so the 4 and 10 are the values which connects the node b okay to some other nodes okay 
so you got to draw the uh, connecting nodes in a separate manner in a tree structure like this okay. so from this 10 and 4 you got to select the least value okay so now the 10 is to be removed the least value from the node b to another node is 4 so you have to make it as a permanent line okay here a dotted line represents some temporary lines okay so see here the dotted line represents some temporary lines so among this 4 and 10 the least value h which connects the node b to the c and d is 4 so you make the 4 yes some dark line which is the final line of the step 2 or in a you have to make it as a dark line okay you have to remove this dotted line afterwards okay so you have to keep assets okay so now b is completed okay the next step you take any another node any other node in a random manner okay so let us say i am taking the node d now okay so now i am joining my node d to the already available structure like this so what are the different outgoing nodes from d so we are having four then we are having two and we are having one okay so see here so what is the least edge value among these three things so it is one okay for example one okay so now i am permanently drawing the least edge value of the node d to one is like this okay so these two values are permanently fixed and you have to check so is there is any other outgoing edge from node d then you will try for that one. So, where the node one the detail value you pour on park no. After the path the, and the node you na drop on na na. I am like cycle form other park no. In the cycle form agla after na, you got to make it as a permanent mark like this, and now your tree becomes the structure like this. So now the nodes B and the node D are solved. Okay, then. You will go for the node C then. You will go for the node C. So from the node C, you will check what are the outgoing edges of the node C. So from this node C, there are different outgoing edges are from C to A, it is 3. From C to E, it is 6. From C to D, it is 2. Some from C to B, it is 10. So already C to D is the least value which is already marked. You will go for the next one that is C to A, which is not marked. Okay. So you got to finalize this that is in the fourth stage. Okay. You got to mark C to A. That's the fourth stage. Okay. So now the C is visited. So there is no node for the A. Uh, node for node is so node is also visited. Okay. So in the last one, there is only one unvisited node that is E. So you got to check whether the E is having the link between D and C. Yes. So the value 6 is higher order value. So you got to remove that thing. Then already D is having least value. That is E. It is more but okay, it is smart like this. Then again you will go for checking the C to E is 6. But if you are marking it is forms and cycle. So you got to remove that thing. Okay. So finally at the final stage we are getting a graph which in the format of structure of minimum spanning tree like this. Okay. So it is the simple step or algorithm which is mainly used in the concept of prims to okay. Ma? Okay. So whether all of you understood so what I am saying here. Whether all of you are following, whether all of you are following, ma? Sir. Yes, sir. Tell me, ma. Sir, can you repeat the step from C to D, sir? C to D. Yes, sir. What well, is it, ma? So, for understanding purpose, okay, again I am going, okay? For understanding purpose, again, again I am going with these steps. Okay, ma? So first, what do you do? If you have a graph, 
in your given graph you have to take any node as your first node edha vena first node ah eduthukalam okay so see in this graph i am taking my first node as b i am taking my first node as b adavadhu b ya first node ah eduthukuren naan okayla so in the b il rendu edhella outgoing edges podu nu paarenga okay so what are the outgoing edges from b it is b to c is 10 b to d is 4 So among this B to C and B to D, which is the least edge value, four. Okay. So I marked my first condition as like this. Okay. First I mark in this step. That B to D, I mark one here. Okay, la. It is my first step. My little doubt, Raga. No, sir. No. Okay. Then next time taking. C R D R E R F okay in the graph la remaining irukra node la edha vena eduthukalam next node ah okay la so let us consider i am taking the node d node d edukrenu vechukengala for example okay la so node d il rendu edhala vandu link irukku namakku d il rendu b ku link irukku it is 4 d il rendu c ku link irukku it is 2 then d il rendu e ku link irukku it is 1 okay la so இந்த நோடு இந்த லிங்க் உடைய எட்ஜ் வேல்யூஸ் வந்து எது லீஸ்ட் வேல்யூவா இருக்கு தட் இஸ் 1 d to e தட் இஸ் 1 ஓகே சோ இந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் யூ ஹேவ் டு மார்க்ட் திஸ் திங் ஓகே சோ இது வந்து ஸ்டெக்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டேஜ்ல இந்த ஸ்டெப் முடிஞ்சிரும் மூல் ட்ரீ ஸ்டெக்ஸ் இந்த மாதிரி ஃபார்ம் ஆயிடும் ஓகேங்களா இது டவுட் இருக்கா சோ நவ தி நோட் டி இஸ் விசிட்டட் ஆல்ரெடி தி நெக்ஸ்ட் ஐ அம் கோயிங் ஃபார் visiting the node c okay node c visit panna poran okay la third step la node c visit panna poran so what are the outgoing edges for the node c it is c to b is 10 c to d is 2 c to a is 3 c to e is 6 so among this which one is the least value c to d is least value it is 2 ஓகேங்களா சொல்றது புரிஞ்சதா c2 d is the least value which is 2 so now the c2 d is marked okay now the c2 d is marked now your tree becomes like this ஓகேங்களா okay, then next i want to visit the node a okay node a visit பண்ண போறேன் this is my fourth node okay fourth node So node A, you can see there is only one outgoing edge, just one link. That is three. So where option is there, you have to make it as a four to the add the node A to the tree. Okay, it is four. Four is added to the tree like this. Okay, la. Then what is the last node which is not visited in the tree already? E. Okay. So the E is already connected to the particular node D from the first step itself. Okay, va. ஈயும் என்ன இருக்குது டியூ டியூ ஈயும் ஆல்ரெடி நம்ம மார்க் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் இட் செல்ஃப் ஓகே ஸோ அப்படியும் விட்டுறலாம் இல்லைன்னா யூ ஹேட் டு செக் விச் ஆஸ் த லீஸ்ட் வேல்யூ ஃப்ரம் நோடு இ டு டி இட் இஸ் ஒன் ஸோ இட் இஸ் ஆல்ரெடி மார்க்டு தென் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு மார்க் த சிக்ஸ் அதாவது சிக்ஸ் நான் நீங்கள் மார்க் பண்ணணும்னு நினச்சிங்கன்னா ஸோ லைக் திஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆர் மார்க்கிங் லைக் திஸ் இட் வில் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் அ சைக்கிள் ஓகே ஸோ த கண்டிஷன் ஆஃப் மினிமம் ஸ்பேனிங் த்ரீ இஸ் அத்திங் பட் you does not form any cycle while connecting the graphs or converting the tree as a graph as a tree okay so now it is to be removed from the graph okay so your final step of the uh, graph is like this all of you understood yes sir pujama ina sonna purichadala yes sir okay ma okay so so all of you take this graph okay so all of you see the screen uh, all of you take this graph so find out what is the minimum span entry value of this graph so all of you take this graph 
and find out what is the minimum spanning tree value of this graph. So all of you solve this one. Find a solution. So what is the value? Twenty-seven, sir. Twenty-seven. Okay. So which node you take as the first node? A, sir. A, sir. A. Okay. So let us consider the node A as the first node. Okay. So what are the link from node A to another node is A to C is eleven. A to B is ten. Okay, so which one is to be marked as a first edge value? A to B, sir. A to B. Okay, so it is to be marked permanently. Okay, so it is to be marked permanently like this. Okay. The next one. What is the node you taken? C, sir. C, sir. Okay, anything. Okay, so for example, here I am taking B. Okay, B as my next node. So what are the outgoing edges from the node B? It is ten. Seventeen and six. So among ten, seventeen and six, so ten is already marked. You leave it. So seventeen is the higher value compared to six. Six. Okay. So I will permanently mark the six as a permanent thing. Okay. So now B is visited. It is completed. Okay. So next, for example, I am taking the node D. Okay. Node D as my next node, which is to be solved. So what is the outgoing edges of the node D? It is eleven and six. Okay, so being the six is already marked. Okay, you got take it as a eleven like this. Okay, so next the C is not already marked. So you got to take the least value from the C. The least value is eleven. So one one eleven is already marked. So you, you will you again you want to check for marking the eleven to the node A. So if I mark in like this, it forms a cycle. So you got to remove this thing. So again, I am trying to mark the node C to B like this. If I am again marking like this, it forms a cycle. So I am removing this thing. Okay. So now the C is also completed with the help of already marked eleven. Okay. So what is the total value of minimum spanning tree? It is ten plus six plus eleven. Okay. It is twenty-seven. Okay. I hope all of you understood. I hope all of you understood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this question, okay, this prims algorithm is very very important question for your semester exams. Okay, so definitely you will get the direct question from this part uh, called as prims algorithm. Okay, engla semester exam la kandi pa the question illa ma question paper varade prims algorithm illa ma question paper varade the algorithm is very easy but you have to draw the diagram in a step by step manner. Direct ay thunai yo. You don't write the total minimum spanning value. Let's put it. First, you got to write like this. I am going to visit a node A. So there is some link between node A to another node is node A to B and A to C like that. So this is another one. I am going to put it. A to B is I am going to put it because it is having least edge value. You got to write like this and you got to draw the first step. What is the structure of the tree? Then again, you got to draw go for the step two and what is your what is the operation you are doing like that? Okay. So likewise, you got to write. For getting the full fourteen marks, okay, for this question. So let's prove it, ma. Okay. So, uh, in your examination purpose, okay, they are uh, giving the graph in the format of some, uh, uh, some uh, large graphs, okay, long graphs. It means, narrow nodes will make graphs. Could be, okay, in the most recent graphs could be made. Narrow nodes will make graphs. Could be. But if you follow the algorithm properly, you will get the exact result. Okay, ma. So can we go for the next one? Yeah. Yes, sir.
my next one is called as uh, cruz calls algorithm so both the algorithms are same okay both the algorithms are same like prims and cruz calls algorithms are same how it is same means both the cruz calls algorithm and the prims algorithm is used to solve the graph which is an undirected graph okay na solla nalla purinjukenga adha unit 3 la graph ngra concept la Uh, you are going to study four important algorithms okay so one is nothing but first one is minimum spanning tree algorithm nam last class la paathadhu then next one is prims algorithm ipo nam paathu mudichathu the next one is cruz calls algorithm nam paaka poradhu then next class la paaka porom that is digit cross algorithm one okay la idhula paathina na first moonu sonna illaya minimum spanning tree ingiradhu vande common prims algorithm use panni solve pannala cruz call algorithm use panni solve pannala digit cross algorithm use panni solve pannala okay la so adu vandu two types of graphs ku use pannala one vandu directed graph ku use pannala undirected graph ku use pannala okay la so directed graph ku use panni solve panna kodi algorithm enna na digit cross algorithm okay the only algorithm in data structure which is used to find the minimum spanning tree is nothing but digit cross algorithm Okay, digital cross algorithm. So, okay, na. So, the algorithm which is used to find out the minimum spanning tree for undirected graph is nothing but Prim's algorithm and Cruz calls algorithm. अतः ना बात तो था. Prim's algorithm उन्हें तो. अपन बात को बोला Cruz calls algorithm उन्हें बंदे. It is used to solve the undirected graphs. It is used to find out the minimum spanning tree for undirected graphs. Okay, ना. that is the main difference you have to know okay. so now all of you go through the uh, concept of uh, cruz calls algorithm uh, all of you read the algorithm see the algorithm which is shown on the screen so for solving this algorithm solution uh, as i told earlier it is like the prims algorithm but the procedure okay the operation procedure is different okay little bit different okay so for solving this cruz calls algorithm first what we are uh, doing is it is a simple manner okay first you have to form a table okay first you have to form a table it means the table is in the format of two columns okay la solla nalla purinjukenga then i will tell afterwards okay first you have to solve a uh, draw a table with two columns with two columns okay or you take it as three columns okay the first column name is the first column name is okay least edge link okay the first column name is least edge link okay so see here i will draw with the help of annotation See here. Uh, I hope here we are see some of the different steps. No, okay. So uh, it is the protein, but I will uh, explain the simple routine and uh, the given routine in a simple table format. Okay. So listen. But kindly adjust because here there is no proper uh, uh, shape is not getting for drawing a table. I will adjust and uh, do something. Okay. So see here. You are create. You are going to create a table like this. Okay. First you have to form a table like this with three rows with a uh, yet with three columns okay you have to form a table with three columns
okay so the first column the content to be filled in first column is okay the content to be filled in first column is least edge link what is it in the first column okay or else you take down by your own okay so the first column name is okay least edge link okay you note it down like this okay so in this place okay you are getting you are going to write least edge link are you all of you understanding all of you getting in the first column the column name is least edge link okay least edge link okay la in the next column it is named as least edge values okay least edge value first column name is least edge link next column is least edge value last column is accepted or not accepted okay last column is accepted or not accepted why you all of you are getting the thing what i am saying ma sonnadhu purinjadha you have to draw a table with three columns the first column name is given as least edge link next column is named as least edge value third column is named as accepted or not accepted ma i hope all of you got the table structure what i am saying sir okay so uh, it is the table okay it is the table which we are going to use for solving uh, the given graph okay then so in the table okay in the table uh, you have to in the table you have to fill the contents yes like this okay first enna pannu appadina what is the first parameter name first column name enna kuduthirukanga what is the first column name least edge link least value link okay so in the given graph what is the least edge value link it is e2d okayla or d2e ma solradhu purinjadha இந்த கிராஃப்ல நமக்கு லீஸ்ட் எஜ் வேல்யூ எதுன்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா இ டூ டி ஆர் டி டூ இ எப்படி வேணா எழுதிக்கலாம் சொல்றது புரிஞ்சுதுங்களா ஃபார் யுவர் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் पर्पஸ் சோ ஸ்கிரீன் இஸ் नॉट விசிபிள் ஃபார் யுவர் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் पर्पஸ் நவ மா எஸ் சார் okay okay ma so uh so first h value is nothing but e to d or d to e okay so for your understanding purpose you got to write it in alphabetical order adavud a b in rendu node irukna you got to write a to b so ninga the table enna eduthunona இங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா டி டூ இ இருக்கு இல்லையா டி ஹைஃபன் இ யூ இந்த எழுதணும் சொல்றது புரிஞ்சுங்களா இந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் காலம் யூ ரைட் த வேல்யூ ஆஃப் தி எஜ் ஓகே அந்த டியூ இ கனெக்ட் பண்ணக்கூடிய எஜ் வேல்யூ என்ன டூ யூ ஹாவ் டு ரைட் இன் தி செகண்ட் காலம் டூ யூ ஹாவ் ரைட் டூ இன் தி செகண்ட் காலம் then in the last column you got to write accepted or rejected so what is meaning for accepted or rejected here what it told what it tells 
அதாவது லீஸ்ட் எஜ் வேல்யூ அக்செப்டா ரிஜெக்ட் என்னன்னா இந்த கிரா இந்த ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் நீங்க ஃபார்ம் பண்ணீங்கன்னா சைக்கிள் ஃபார்ம் ஆகுதா இல்லையான்னு செக் பண்ணணும் சைக்கிள் ஃபார்ம் ஆச்சுன்னா நாட் அக்செப்டட் தட் இஸ் ரிஜெக்டட் சைக்கிள் ஃபார்ம் ஆகல அப்படின்னா அக்செப்டட் ஓகே ஸோ டி டென்ஸ் டு இ இப்படி போட்டீங்கன்னா சைக்கிள் ஃபார்ம் ஆகும் ஆகாதா இட் டஸ் நாட் கிரியேட் எனி சைக்கிள் ஸோ யூ ஹாவ் டு ரைட் அக்செப்டட் யூ ஹாவ் டு ரைட் அக்செப்டட் ஓகே so it is the first step in this graph while solving a problem okay. so likewise we have to solve the different number of steps okay in this one okay so i hope after this we can stop this okay next class we have to start with this content again okay so i hope all of you understood i hope all of you understood the concept of prims algorithm clearly it is very important concept okay so, yes sir okay ma'am so you got to stop with this one okay and we will uh, discuss in the next class okay ma okay so, sir thank okay thank you all okay. have a nice day thank you ma thank you sir